Welcome back to the rest of the story. Christmas came early this year. Santa, also known as Mr. Tucker, brought us our new rolls for our combine head. These are the 360 yield chain roll rolls from, three, uh, was it the 360? 360, 360 yield center. Yield center. Um, can you tell us why we were switching these out compared to what we're using in our current head right now? Well, first of all, your current rolls are worn. That's a good reason. <laughs> so it was time to change rolls out. And there's a few different rolls on the marketplace, but uh, rolls can, you know, they primarily take the function of pulling the stock through, mm -hmm. allowing the ears to be ripped off the stock so the ears can go in the feeder house. And so some stock rolls are more aggressive. Obviously, new ones are going to be more aggressive than the old ones, but these stock rolls are designed to help um, manipulate that stock so that the microbes could enter the stock quicker and help with decomposition. I think the best comparison to it would be like a disc bind, the rollers that you'd see the hay go through. It goes through and crimps the hay. We're getting a similar action here with the stalk as it's going down through these. These fingers go through and grab the stalk. They crimp it every, was it three inches? Two to three inches? Yep. And um, after it goes, I think it's, I believe it's seven inches. <laughs> Um, the knives come around. These are timed rolls, so these have to go on a certain way. And that knife will come around and it'll cut that stock at seven inch lengths. Makes it very manageable for, well, more or less a no till application also. Um, I think that's largely what these are geared towards. Yeah. Um, so there's your two knives. They are self sharpening, and as these turn, it's gonna, gonna cut that stock. So. The problem with a lot of chopping heads is that you get, or, you know, they call confetti. confetti, and that can get pinched in next to the kernel. And you know, as we walk around in the cornfield, we're looking at where we didn't have emergence or where we had misses. A lot of times, it's because there's trash or residue next to the seed, and you got to have good seed soil contact for that seed to come up. So this prevents that, um, and stock and plant residue is a good source uh, to take up nitrogen. So as we're putting nitrogen out in the field and the corn needs the nitrogen, this allows the residue to decay and start mineralizing faster to release the nitrogen that's held in those plants. And it's also not taking out the nitrogen that we've applied in the field for that crop that year. So part of it's for emergence of the seed that we planted out there. Another part is to not tie up nitrogen that we need in that year's crop. So essentially we're planning for next spring this fall. Correct. Okay, what kind of wear life can we expect out of these? The knives are self-sharpening. Um, these have been on the market for three years, and uh, talking with one of the engineers behind this, they've had 450 acres per row and not worn them out yet. We, we've been a 360 dealer for a couple years. We started with 360 because of the wide drops, and uh, you know, I've been running wide drops now for a couple of years, and I think that the nitrogen placement's a big uh, big deal there, and they've come out with several products. A chain roll. Um, we worked with the uh, brushes on the corn head, and tried those out for keeping kernels um, in the combine. So they've got several good products. Uh, the bullet point. I've had several customers ask us for those that help with uh, rippers and eliminating compaction. So we've got a lot of tools. Um, I like trying them out and. Not every tool is the best option for a farm. So we just, like in your case, if you didn't need new rolls, we probably wouldn't have looked at it, but since you needed new rolls, this is just a little bit better option than some of the alternatives out there. So, you know, it's, when it comes down to what I do, it's not trying to get guys to spend money, it's trying to find solutions out there for what's most needed on the farm. So this might not be needed everywhere, but it's a case where if you need new rolls on your combine head, then it's a great option out there. Okay, well put. Now, these look aggressive as all get out. What kind of job is it going to be for us to replace these? And on, keep in mind, guys, we will, I'm planning on doing a video on um, putting, installing these, it's just uh, if we can do it in a timely manner. So 360 makes a roll puller. Uh, just basically a gear puller type unit. Um, they are on back order right now, uh, so I'm waiting on one, but uh, I've been told that 
the guys, if they don't want to wait for the gear puller, um, they're just taking a torch to loosen these up. So um, there's a couple different options. There are roll pins that go through here, as you can see, the holes in these. Um, so, um, you know, the torch is just to loosen them up because they can stick pretty tight on the shafts that they slide onto mm -hmm. on the head. So we're just going to wait for the right tool uh, to do the job right, I think. They should only be about a week, week and a half out, they said, on shipping those pullers. And like I said the other day, we're approximately five weeks out on harvesting at the earliest. So no big rush yet, but um, as we drive across the county, we're seeing a lot of guys starting to get their combines out and pre-season maintenance. Yeah, and I can't say that I ordered these on Wednesday and got them Friday. Yeah, um, I was really surprised by that. <laughs> So as of, uh, as of right now, um, we can get them pretty quickly. Uh, they are they do make these for most series heads, uh, the John Deere 600 series head, as well as uh, the 4090 heads, um, as well as uh, some of the Case New Holland heads. So if somebody has a question, they can just uh, call in contact me or contact uh, your 360 dealer. If you go to uh, 360yieldcenter.com, there's a nice website and a dealer locator. So you can see where a dealer is close to you and give them a call and see if they've got options that will match your equipment. All right. So if you guys can't see the number in the background, um, another number to contact Andrew, WS Ag Center. Yep. Um, yeah, just uh, contact us. I don't even have the, mem <laughs> the number memorized, but 776-3860. You stole my pen strip. Oh, no, here's one. Uh, I think there's one I didn't get a hold yeah, of yet. 608-776-3860, uh, and then you can ask for me. All right. All right, well, thanks, Andrew. Yep, thanks, Travis. I say that's Andrew. We've been dealing with him for a little over a year now. Um, I got a reminder on Facebook that it, I've known the guy for a little over a year. <laughs> so, um, yes, take care, take it easy, keep in touch. I'll talk to you guys later.